Cool. So, guys, let's focus on some 3D uh, GeoGebra features. What def, uh, the things you can make use of GeoGebra 3D. So, if you are on GeoGebra page, there is app downloads. You don't need to download, don't worry. Go here. Here is the 3D calculator. So, click on this 3D calculator. First of all, there are so many things. Sometimes we focus on one thing, but it is already available in some of the tools with GeoGebra. So first, let me just give you a brief info on the web page of GeoGebra 3D. Here is the settings, setting button, right? You want to show the x-axis, y-axis, you want to show the plane, and grid these settings you can manage from here. Here is zoom in, zoom out. If you go here, there are two things, algebra tools. Algebra means it will give you access of entering anything as a function. Let's say I want to enter x square. Look, the x square curve is ready on a 3D x right let's say i want to enter x square uh, plus y square right equals to four look at this it is something because it's a circle now you can explore like that so it became like a, a cylinder infinite cylinder look at this x square plus y square equals to four so i'm just explore telling you that using this algebra and uh, you can enter any equation. So you can definitely play around. Let's say I want to change the coefficient of y, right? Equals to four. So you can see it is no more cylindrical. It is elliptical, right? So this is something which you can play around from uh, uh, algebra view. I'm just going to delete it. What I have done, click on three dots, delete. You know the equation of sphere. You can definitely enter x square plus y square, let's say plus z square equals to five. Look at this equation of sphere and you have it, right? So you can definitely hide, unhide, click on it. Go to settings to change color and other things because it's important to play around with these things. So as soon as you click on settings, this thing will appear for you, which will give you an information about it. Definition and show objects, show label. What do you want to show from the label, right? Value, you can definitely click on it if you want to show something and color. You can change it 100% opacity, 50% change the color. Advance is something different. You can manipulate the colors based on some conditions. Scripting, it's also for the coding part, which you don't need to do. If you, if you are interested, connect with me, I'll help you out. So look, very simple. We typed the equation, we got our 3D shape, right? You can hide and unhide it, gone. Let me just give you one thing here, because uh, uh, I know a few things are easy to manipulate and uh, easy to create for your students. Let's say you are in your class nine or class 10, where you are introducing 3D shapes or different functions, how they appear in this, right? So let's say you have a sphere, but you don't want that this thing should appear all the time, right? First, let's say it should be a circle. I'm just uh, creating a circle. So the equation of circle would be, if we just type, in a simple way with the center zero, zero, x square 
plus y square because it is in 3D now. That's why you can see it's no more just a circle. Look, now it became a cylinder. So for circle, you can use the tools. Go to more and go here because uh, in order to uh, tell to GeoGebra that I want a circle, you need to have, uh, you need to tell more information. Okay, let me just give you one more idea here. As soon as you know that you need to create something, let's say I want to create a circle, just type it. C I R C L. Look at this circle point radius. This won't work. First, second, third, four, third, three options will not work for you. Uh, last three will definitely work. So I'm going to pick the last one because I'm dealing with uh, 3D. So I'm going to click on the third one. Sorry, this one. So point, it can be, you can enter as two zero, right? Radius, let's say four or three. Direction. Now you can add the direction here. I'm adding Z axis. You have to type it out lowercase z then a x i s if you change it to other look at this x axis circle y axis circle let's make it center zero zero and let's make it's a square root of five right so i have a circle and i have a sphere can you see the boundary of my sphere can be easily visualized by the circle, right? And if you want, I want another circle. Click on it, circle, go to directions. Point is again zero, zero. You can type capital O as well. Radius square root five, how to enter square root? Use this keyboard. Bottom left corner, use this square root five. And if you see extra stuff, just delete it. Make sure you are adding commas as they were shown initially. I'm going to use as x axis. Look at this. I hope this can be a good exercise for you and your students. Uh, let's create or see or visualize different perspectives or different views of a sphere, right? So you can change colors of these things. So this was something very basic, like you should explore by typing it out here. Let's say you want to uh, create a cone, C-O-N-E, right? Cone of what? Now, in order to create a cone, you need, GeoGebra is giving you three possibilities. First, if you have circle and height. Number two, if it, you have point, point and radius. Third option is point, vector and angle, right? So I'm gonna use the first option because it's super easy. So circle, which circle you want to use, C or D? Let's say I want to use D. What is the height? The height, let's say I want to keep it five. Okay, can you see this? we got a cone. Actually, let me hide the sphere because you are not able to see the whole thing of cone. Look at this. And sorry, because I'm not creating the vertical cone, that, that's also possible. We can create, I'm just gonna use a circle, point O, radius, a square root of five, Direction is z axis. Okay, now I'm going to use cone. Okay, circle is f. Height is, I think I have taken five. Yes, look at this. So we can have a vertical because I'm using z axis for my circle. And this is another way. And what else you can use? Let me just hide everything. Go to tools, you will explore here. You will see a cone option is also available for you. 
cone, click on cone. As soon as you click, the information will be visible to you. Select bottom point. Let me click again. Select bottom point, then top point, then enter the radius, right? So I'm going to click here and here and then radius. Look, my cone is ready, right? So this way you can create from the tools as well. So this was easy stuff, which you can definitely explore. I'll just show you one thing before we go for the uh, other things. Nets. There is option for net. Net of any uh, 3D shape you can explore. So for that, let's have a prism, right? So I'm gonna pris I'm gonna add a prism or a pyramid or a tetrahedron, whatever you want. You can just pick it up. So I let if I click on pyramid. Look at this. Select a polygon for bottom, then select the top point. So which means I need to have a polygon first of all. So before I go here, I'm going to go with polygon, click on polygon, select two points, then enter the number of vertices. Okay, here and here, vertices, let's add five, right? So I have my polygon right now and I can go ahead with pyramid. So click on pyramid, select a polygon and then select the top point. So sometimes selection is uh, not possible all the time, but we'll, we should try. Select that polygon and pick up that point. Leave it wherever you want. Go back to algebra view. If uh, you just want to, you can hide it out as well. Look at this. We have a pentagonal pyramid. You can increase, decrease this height. Right, let's create it again because I know some of you missed that information. So what I have to do, go to polygon, first of all. Polygon regular or normal polygon, it's up to you. So regular polygon, I'm gonna use this point and this point, then vertices four, ready. Now, let me show you the other way because the selecting thing we have done. Now I'm going to go here in the algebra view, just type pyramid. Look, pyramid, I have two options, polygon and a point or and a height. So I'm gonna pick up the second option, which polygon I want to use. You see this polygon, it's named as poly two. You can also rename them, don't worry. I'm just writing the same name, poly2, and the height is, let's say, 5. Look at this. I hope it was easy. And it's okay. You can manipulate it. You can just rotate it because you're just changing the point, and everything is changing with that thing. And if you want that, okay, I don't want to move it, just fix them up. Because uh, once you fix anything, then it won't let anyone to move. So now, okay, where we are in the nets. So click on the net, select a polyhedron, just select this, done. Go to algebra, I'll show you the magic the slider will be created automatically. And if you play it out, it will show the animation of that net shape. You can create net of any uh, 3D shape. Of course, you can't create for cone automatically, but you can, there are other ways. So this is the way how you can create at least very simple basic uh, 3D shapes and then show the nets. Okay, let me just save it for you. Sorry, stay on a page because I want to save it. What do you have to do? Go on these three bars, save it. Basics of 3D, right? I'm just gonna save it and share with you so that you guys can see what, what extra things I have done. Uh, you can always hide and unhide them to see. Let me just share with you so that you can edit this 
and make changes to this activity. Copy, sharing in the chat. Okay, I hope you have it now. Now let's move ahead with some other features of 3D for high school type students. This was basic like for middle school. Okay, I'm gonna click and clear all because I just don't want, okay, if I clear it out, then maybe it will go away. What I can use, I can use create a 3D calculator in a new tab. Okay, I'm on a 3D calculator again. Now here in the tools, you see there are intersect between surfaces, plane through three points, point, attach, detach, vector, perpendicular lines, parallel lines, and, and the other things, angles, 3D view, moving, so many things, right? Uh, can somebody write in the chat what if we are specifically looking for something because otherwise I will have so many things here. Meanwhile, I can just create a controlling thing. What I'm gonna do, I'm just typing a random number. Let's say A equals to two. Because if I type A equals to two, it will create a slider for me, right? And I'm gonna create B equals to three. Again, it's a slider, C equals to four, right? Now I want to create points from these three sliders. So my point A is brackets. I want to use a zero zero because this point will always lie on x axis now my point b will always lie on y axis or it will just go like that a then b then zero okay somebody has something in which i would like to see a cube consisting of 20 uh, I'll send you I have it but I'll send you because it's it's a com complicated thing because you have to use sequences over there I'll share I have it uh, but so what I'm going to show you here a is a point which will remain on x-axis and x-axis is the red one sorry I forgot to mention it in the beginning that red line is representing x-axis the green line is representing y-axis. The blue line is always in the z-axis. So I'm going to create a C point, which will represent A, B, C. Because this exercise I use a lot when I want to uh, show this to my students, which are first time seeing the 3D coordinates. Because now I can see x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis view. If I move my sliders, look at this. So I can actually help them out. So x component is only making effect on the red line. The b is making the b point closer or the other direction. C will just move up and down, right? So this uh, sort of information I usually give to my students because you can also connect with these lines. Let's say I have, I want to have a segment or okay, vector. Let's take a vector, vector and the point C. Look at this. So they can visualize the vector, uh, which is from O to C. And if you change anything, the vector is going to change. Right? Look at this. So this is something which is very basic. You can definitely try and you can definitely create segments or lines. Uh, if I just type segment, I need two points for the segment. I'm gonna use point B and point C. I can also have a segment of A and B. Look, 
So this way, the perspective is different, right? They can see a vector or just a call. One more thing, you want to show the coordinates, just go to the point, let's say C point, right? Go to these three dots, click on settings, and here you change the label value. Look at this. They can see the real time change in, in the points. If you move the sliders, look, the height is changing. So this way you can manipulate. Now with these things, you can definitely explore the things with lines, planes, and other things. Guys, let me know if you need this file as well, the one which I'm just creating. Otherwise, it's it was not a difficult thing, uh, but yeah. You can have a line and plane. Let me just type a line. Look, when you type a line, what do you need? Point, 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 and a parallel line. Let me just do it, line. I want a line from C and a parallel line is G. Look at this. Look at this. I have used a segment AB for parallel and the line is going through point C. Let me just hide the vector. Look at this. Look at this. The line is actually parallel to AB. And when you manipulate with B, and then look at this. You can you can you could have uh, uh, with segment F as well. Let's just have with F. Look, because F was a vertical line, so you will see the line which is perpendicular. So if you are very new to 3D GeoGebra, please start exploring these things because these are really important before you jump on to other things. Let me just change this to U. Look at this, because U was the vector going through C and I have considered a point C uh, for my line. You can see, you can change the colors, you can change the thickness, and you can change other features as well. If you right click on the line, this pop-up will appear, you can change the color. You can increase the thickness as well. Look at this. Look, now the line has a dotted line with width. So 3D line is here. Similarly, you can explore the plane as well. If you click on type plane, so plane is from point and line, point and plane. Let's do it with point and line. I'm gonna go with point B and line, which I can see here H. Look at this. I can see a plane through it. So you can use your sliders to show how the plane is changing only with one component because that was only x-axis. Now look at the y-axis thing. Now look at the z-axis. There is no effect on the plane, right? Because it will remain on the plane because it is parallel or it consists the line. So this is the way how you can explore. Next time, if you want to attend the GeoGebra 3D, and let me just save it before line, line, save. Let me share this as well, in case you need it. Uh, sharing in the chat, cool. Uh, we can explore that thing, surface uh, rotation about uh, 
article. Let me just not do this, show you here. Revolution, surface of revolution and uh, other things with very simple things. How much time we have? Okay, it's not ending just now. Let's do it. I'm just gonna go with 3D and okay, we are we have 10 minutes. And in these 10 minutes, I can show you how you can manipulate with the curves. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna use tools and point. So I, I'll just create random points. I've created some random points. Go to algebra. What I am going to do, I am going to create a line, uh, sorry, a curve, not a line. So you just need to type SP line. This is really important for those who are teaching integration for rotation, any curve about X axis, Y axis, etc. And then creating that volume, the 3D shape, sorry. So SP line, click on it. You need to enter a list. Now, in order to create a list, always use the curly braces. And now enter the points from A to E. So caps on A, sorry, caps on A, B, C, D, E. Okay, there is no F, sorry, only E. Okay, my curve is ready. Look at this, the curve is on uh, only in the X, Y plane not in 3D part, but we just want to rotate it. Uh, this is a tool available for you, which you can use. Otherwise I'll tell you the command because that's better. This is a tool which you can just click, uh, but I would recommend if you use the command. The command is simple. Before that, it is called surface. Look at this, curve, angle and line. Curve, the one which we have, angle, we are going to decide 360, 270, whatever. Line is rotation, the axis of rotation. So before I create this, I need to have an angle, right? So for that, I'm just creating one random uh, slider. Let's say I want to use angle for A. Okay, A is already defined. Let's not, let's use B, B equals to two because it will create a slider for me. And then I will restrict it for the values of uh, zero to zero to two pi. Sorry, two pi. I just, I'm typing two times pi, it will consider. Or you can enter 6.28, no problem. Now I'm going to type surface. Select the second option. Curve is A. Look at the curve. SP line is defined by, by A. Angle, which is B. Line is what? X axis, Y axis, Z axis, whatever. Let's use X axis now. Look at this. Okay. This is what we have. Now you can manipulate this with the slider angle. Look what you have. You can manipulate this shape by moving these points. Look at this. It's a really good exercise for your students. If you just create something like this, don't let them try anything from left hand side, but only from the uh, available window, ask them only to drag points like this and observe what kind of shapes they are creating. So they can have a better uh, visuals of a 3D printing as well. Right? So this was something which I wanted to share before we wrap up this session. I hope you understood. If you were not able to uh, follow this up, please ask me. I will try to give you one more example. Look at this. I'm making my point very close to x-axis. 
you can change the angle. Look. I hope what was SP line is like a connecting points to make a curve. There are other options for SP line, but SP line is the best because you can manipulate for other curves. You need to manage different things. Look at this. SP line is the uh, functionality available. Yeah. Look at this because I was able to move my points and I could create a smooth curve. And now I can even create something like that. So you change the angle. This video, uh, maybe uh, I think long ago, two years ago, I did share on YouTube. So you guys can follow up. You just add images also to create a replica of those. That is also possible. Okay, so let me share this as well with you. Let me save it. SP line or surface. Sharing in the chat, guys. So for you, you can edit and have a look how we create it. And yeah, let me just stop recording this and then take your concerns if 